Welcome everyone back here once again with Daniel Santiago, the Vice President of Strategic Engagements at Vantage Point AI. Of course, joining us every week, same time, same day, giving our audience a sneak peek into Vantage Point AI trading software. Daniel, once again, always great to have you with us. How are you doing? Hey, thanks, Michael. I appreciate uh, having me back. You know, it's always a pleasure being here and, you know, getting the opportunity to talk about what Vantage Point has been doing and how we've been doing it for so long. No, absolutely. Daniel, it's always our pleasure to have you with us. It's been wonderful so far. Always get a lot of great information out of this. So, Daniel, let's get started. Walk me through a sample asset chart in Vantage Point. Yeah, absolutely. You know, last time we talked, we've talked a couple of times now, and one of the things that I focused on was the inner markets. So how the process is being done to analyze what's going on and affecting the stock that we're looking at. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over the software real quick so we can take a look. We're looking at light sweet crude oil. That's the chart that we left off on last last time, Michael. And I wanted to just bring it back so we could remind everybody what indicators we're looking at and how you interpret the indicators. And then I've got some some sample you know assets we'll take a look at as a group here. But the first thing I want to highlight is the blue line on the chart. You can see it cutting through the chart. Um, it's being compared to a black line. That blue line on the chart that we're looking at, that's a predicted moving average. So if you remember from when we talked before, Vantage Point is analyzing the global market relationships. It's analyzing what's impacting light sweet crude oil, and it's using that information to create predictive price. And then it uses that predictive price to draw the predictive indicators here. And, and this blue line is one of those that has the ability to forecast trend direction up to three days in advance. All right. That's the first indicator. Matter of fact, that's the first indicator we look at. We do look at them in a sequence. And that's the first one we're going to see. The key to that indicator, Michael, is when that blue line crosses the black line, whether it's crossing below uh, the black line to above or from above to below. You can see we've got one, two, three crossovers on this chart. That's the indication of a trend change coming over the next few days. And that's the first predictive indicator that anybody using Vantage Point would look at to get a, a sentiment around what's expected to happen. And then last time we also talked about the neural index, which is this green and red bar cutting through just below price action. This is a short-term strength indicator, and it's designed to help you understand whether there is short-term strength building bullishly or bearishly when looking at this asset. If it's red, that indicates bearish strength over the next couple of days. And if it's green, that's bullish. We made it pretty easy from a, a color coding standpoint. So virtually any trader can look at this and understand what they're seeing. And then we go a step further. We talk about the lines down here at the bottom. There's three lines. They're called predictive differences. And they're intended to give you predicted momentum over the next three days. You see, the AI is doing analysis on the global markets to draw these lines as well. And it's adding the predictive information so that you can get a, a momentum view. So when these lines are pointed down, like the, you can see that they're pointed down right here. I'm talking about around 1021 to 1025. You can see this line is pointed down. This one is creating lower highs. This one is creating lower highs, telling you that momentum is starting to turn bearishly. It was bullish. These lines were going up. Now they're going down, saying momentum is shifting, and that happens ahead of the trend. The key to using these indicators, number one, is using them sequentially and, and, and making sure you're looking at the blue line first, and then looking at the neural index, and then the momentum indicators. So we'll walk through a couple of these charts, but I do want to highlight something on this chart. When we talked last time, it was, it was right around this day. And Vantage Point was indicating that the trend was expected to go up. And we know that because the blue line was above the black line, Michael. And any time the blue line stays above the black line, you know that that trend is still expected to increase over the next few days. In addition to that, we can see that on that day, we had a green neural index, right? We had our momentum indicators creating higher lows. So everything was happening saying that light sweet crude oil is expected to continue going bullishly. Now, we know there's always down days and uptrends, but if I just draw a quick calculation from here to the close of the market yesterday on light sweet crude, just since the last time we talked, you can see that's up over two and a half percent. These predictive indicators are designed to give traders an advantage so that you can understand what's expected to happen. Now, nothing is perfect, but if you use the indicators the way I've laid them out here, you're getting accuracy. It's been proven to be up to 87.4%. That accuracy has been proven over decades. This software that we're walking through has been available for individual traders since 1991. That's over 30 years. So when we talk about accuracy and we talk about artificial intelligence, it's only been getting better. 
And that's one of the other things I want everybody to remember. Artificial intelligence thrives and lives on data, massive amounts of data. So the more data you give the artificial intelligence, the smarter it gets, let's say, the better it gets, the more accurate the forecast can be. Well, some of the markets we're looking at have 20, 30 years of data being fed to that same artificial intelligence. Now, obviously, we've enhanced it over the years. Matter of fact, we've put over $10 million alone just in the research and development of this software in the last 10 years to make sure it stays cutting edge and to make sure it stays accurate. So when you're looking at a forecast and vantage point, that proven accuracy is extremely high, giving traders extreme confidence. Even, even in markets like we're seeing right now, Michael, I've got a, I've got a cut here of the S&P 500. And people always ask me the question to say, well, if the AI is so good, did it see this coming? We'll take a look at the chart, right? We're looking at an actual tar chart for the ES. And you can see, based on what we talked about, the blue line crossed below the black line right here, right? We see if we follow that same day down, we see that the neural index was red the same day. So by going through the sequence, blue line crossing below, indicating a trend down over the next few days, weakness from a strength standpoint over the next two days, look at the momentum indicators. Three-day momentum, bearish. Two-day momentum, bearish. One-day momentum, bearish. So this is like having five doctors. You know, I've used this analogy before. You've probably heard it before. It's like having five doctors all trained independently, gone to school, different schools in different fields of expertise, all saying that this trend is expected to reverse, right? Well, if you've got five doctors that agree on what's expected to happen, well, if it's surgery they're agreeing on, probably going to have surgery, right? That's one of the key things that these indicators do. When you, Because they are calculated on their own neural network by themselves, when you compare them to one another and they agree that's when you can have maximum confidence around what you expect to happen. So when we see that happen, let me just grab my cursor here. I'm going to drop a line on this day. And you can see that that was January 5th, January 5th. Michael, let me ask you, was anybody talking on January 5th that you can remember about a potential reversal in the markets? Now, aside from everybody saying it can't keep going, it can't keep going. Was anybody on that day saying that things were expected to start going down that day? No one that I know, that's for sure. <laughs> and, and I know it's hard to remember. It's a heck. Uh, a week sometimes feels like a month. It was so long ago. But Vantage Point indicated that this trend was expected to start going down on January 5th. Now, if we follow the the what I just taught everybody, that as long as that blue line stays below the black line, that trend is expected to continue going down. Even when you've got some bullishness here, the artificial intelligence doesn't get faked out. The artificial intelligence in this case knows based on the intermarket analysis, that this trend is expected to continue down. Now, even though this neural index was green and we got some short-term strength on the momentum, the one-day momentum, doesn't mean that that trend is expected to reverse. What that means is you can expect a little bit of short-term strength. Remember the sequence. When the blue line crosses below the black line, that's a trend expected to start going down. If we had the blue line crossing above, that would be a different story. We didn't have that. So we can be comfortable that the AI is saying this trend is expected to keep going down, 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 and we know what's happened since then. Now, this is the closing bell yesterday. You can see even after you know the FOMC minutes came out and the Fed decided to keep interest rates near zero, right? Even today, after you know the, the, the Q4 GDP got announced being higher than the estimates, even after all of that happening, the blue line has stayed below the black line, indicating that this trend is expected to go lower. And the markets, you know, pre-market were up pretty big this morning. Well, since then, they've come down, 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 and now they're painted red. Vantage point indicated that this trend was expected to keep going down. Now, it doesn't stop there either. If you take a look, look right over here. Do you see this, Michael? You see this little gray bar right here on the right-hand side of my screen? Yeah, what are we looking for there? So that's the predicted high and low. So in vantage point... The AI predicts the next day's high and the next day's low for every single chart that we'll look at in the software, and it represents with a little gray bar. Now, I want to make sure everybody listening realizes it's not going to predict it to the penny, right? That's not the case here. It's designed to give you, you know, goalposts, if you will. You can utilize this for entries, exits, stop losses, setting targets. It's designed to give you an expectation of where 
the the trend for the day could be. And we're seeing the ES trade right within that gray bar. Um, and I can click on this gray bar and see the values up in the top left corner. That's that's available in every every chart that you look at in Vantage Point has that included in it. All right. And then the NASDAQ, same story. I always like to show the NASDAQ because, you know, people talk about tech so much that from a tech standpoint, it's important to understand, you know, what's what's been going on in the NASDAQ. And you can see the forecast was expected to do the same thing at the same time. Right. It was January 4th, as a matter of fact, blue line below the neural index red and predictive differences down. You'll find that by using this technology like this, it's wash, rinse, repeat. You can look at futures like we're looking at here. You can look at stocks, ETFs, Forex. You can look on the left-hand side of the screen and see that there are a, a, a ton of assets available in the software. We're talking about thousands of different markets from futures and Forex and ETFs and cryptocurrencies that have this forecasting capability included in the software. So as a matter of fact, let's look at, um, I've got TECS here. And the reason I wanted to pull this up is because this is an inverse ETF. A lot of people ask the question, you know, how do you trade a market like this? How do you trade when it's going down? You know, I've got an IRA. I don't short the market, maybe people say. Well, this is an inverse ETF. This is a triple leverage inverse ETF tracking the technology sector. So when the technology sector made its turn down, we saw the NASDAQ on the 4th. The forecast for this on the 7th was the opposite. So if you if you can't short the market or you don't do options, this is a great avenue to use the artificial intelligence because you can see again, I'm going to I'm going to do it again for you, Michael. The blue line above neural index green and the predictive differences all pointed up leading right into that day saying momentum is building. Again, that's the recipe you're looking for. And in this case, using that recipe, this trend, well, let's take a look. From that day until the close yesterday, this trend was up 30, almost 30% in 13 trading days. Now, when you sit back and you think about that, it's like, look, if I can find opportunities like this that I'm missing, maybe once, twice a month, three times a month, that could generate some, some immense profits at the end of the year. Right. And that's an inverse ETF. In case you didn't know about it, there are some inverse ETFs in Vantage Point. There's also leverage ETF that aren't inverse. We've got a lot of different assets available for everybody out there. Uh, here's another one that's been in the news lately. Let me get some of these drawings off the screen for you. Here's uh, AT&T. Right. Now, I don't know if you know what happened with AT&T, but, you know, from an earnings standpoint, it was abysmal. But take a look at this. All right. First of all, this trend had been going for quite some time. If I just back up my chart here, you can see that this downtrend, I'm, you know, I'm going to trace all of these, Michael, since everybody knows what they're looking at now. From this downtrend until it was forecasted to go up, and I'll go worst case scenario here right at the close, there's 7% gain. From this forecast up to this downtrend, again, we're talking about 12% potential gains. And more importantly, more importantly, if I get these off the screen and zoom in for you guys, Look at what happened recently. The blue line crossed below, 121. The neural index was red, and the predictive differences pointed down. Everything indicating that that trend was expected to reverse in the next couple of days. Well, we can count them out together. One, two, three days. You want to talk about you know, having getting rewarded for using artificial intelligence and having forecasted information. That's one of the charts that, that really demonstrates what you can do with this technology. Uh, I've got some other things up here. Here's Netflix, right? And don't worry, guys, this isn't 100% accurate. This is not always going to give you the exact information when you need it, but I gotta tell you, if you can get proven accuracy, now this has been proven for quite a long time, over 87%, do you think that puts you in a position to, to profit more often? That's only a question that you can kind of answer for yourself, but, Here's a great example of where the software said, okay, this trend was expected to go down. It went down, it went down. And then blue line crossed above, neural index agreed, momentum went up and it, and it went flat, all right? Let's call this a break even. I'm okay with that. That's trading. You break even here, you lose there. As long as you, you, your, your, your profits are bigger than your losses, at the end of the year, you end up in a really great place. So this is a real scenario that can happen, but you can see the software forecasted ahead really early and said, you know what, this thing's about to start going back down. And if you follow what's going on with Netflix, a lot of people here do, you can see that this trend has been going down pretty aggressively. 
including today when you go look at Netflix, you'll see that this is already down 40% as a close yesterday. And Vantage Point indicated it was expected to go lower today, right? And we can do this same kind of analysis on Tesla. You can see Vantage Point, the blue line was below indicating Tesla was expected to be lower. I think they even beat earnings, yet they still fell off a cliff, right? Now, Vantage Point isn't forecasting earnings with that kind of accuracy. I want to make sure I'm clear, but earnings are a result of what that company's been doing. So the AI can pick up on those hidden patterns and relationships and figure out what's expected to happen with an incredible degree of accuracy. AMD, and I know I'm running out of time here, Michael, but I, I just got to show everybody how valuable this is because even though there was some short-term strength happening with AMD based on the momentum indicator down here, the trend indicator was saying, uh-uh, the AI was saying that this trend is expected to go lower. And again, today, looking at AMD, it did. Last chart I want to show everybody is Bitcoin because a lot of people ask about cryptocurrencies. I've got nine months of Bitcoin on the screen right now. And through this nine months, we're talking about very few trades, right? We've got a big bearish trade here going crossover to crossover, right? We've got a, a big bullish trade here. I'm not going to outline them all, but we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, five forecasts in nine months that are extremely accurate, helping a lot of Bitcoin traders preserve their capital before this latest downturn, not get in too early and buy the dip and buy the dip and rebuy the dip. You know what everybody's been going through. This kind of technology can set you up for more success because of how the artificial intelligence is doing the global market analysis. So I could I could be talking about this all day. For anybody that wants more information on this or wants to maybe see a chart or talk to somebody like myself, just go to vantagepointforecast.com. And even though I'm out of time today, I'm sure that we'd be happy to dig into the details more with you. Uh, just go to that site and let us know what you want to look at. That's great. Daniel Santiago, the VP of Strategic Engagement at Vantage Point. Again, always awesome to have you here, Daniel. Great information. Thank you. And again, everyone, make sure you go to vantagepointforecast.com to learn more about this. You'll meet Daniel and the rest of the team. They will be there to give you the information you need. Daniel, thanks again, as always. Thanks, Michael. Have a good one.